another programming edition of uh, 15 so we will begin the program quickly and before we do that and before we do that we like to call on Emmanuel Jackson for a uh, battle cry Everyone 
Nigeria parait lève une slam from there to replace John Wea Levy. Their conditions have become more ridiculous than ever because of say yo. Say yo. The problem that you have is that whatever you say say yo. Say yo. This kind of more fourteen day election is more so to Wea Pepe say say yo. Say yo. If you love JB, listen to the allegation I'm about to get. He says say yo. Say yo. When you go for or to what thing, I can't hear it. We are going to pause it. I want to say say yo. Say yo. When you do it automatically, the boy be going in for the phone. Say say yo. Say yo. When you use your top print of vote, when you pull it down, just wait for five seconds before you fall and say, say yo. 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 If you take it all in front of me for you, say yo. Say yo. Say yo. So we are with. So we are reduce all the men and sorry so that women are getting respect now. Who says I yo? Murder! 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 Say yo! So we are increased taxes on the importers so you can buy the thing they expense in the market. Say yo! Say yo! Say yo! And I told we are paper right now when they tax us. Say yo! Say yo! You will have a three day free go to where I say you do not deserve it in Tokyo for his say yo. Say yo. If you know, say your life has become bad and ever before you will vote for Joseph Walker, say yo. Say yo. Say yo. You will punish your way to come out to what they say, say yo. Mother! 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 Quickly, we call on Mr. Vani Kiau to open us in prayer. Mr. Kiau. So, when right. folks, we are live from District please. 14, Mosserada County. Mr. Kiau, please come Continue. open us in prayer. Sylvester Chiro Place Money breaking this live coverage from District Amanda. 14. Amanda! Right Amanda! Radio Ado Community Junction. Just a few feet away from the cow pottery. Thank 
Thank you very much for that powerful prayer. By this, by this time, we will call on partisan Edward D. Square Weir, district campaign manager, to welcome us. Partisan Weir. Uh, he's making a way, so uh, please give him, give him. All protocol is safe and sustained. I'm extremely honored and very gratitude today to seize this opportunity on behalf of the United Parties, the MDR, and the Senator Yombli Kanga Lauren Lodi Party faction, all SRA groupings, and all partisans of District Number 14, to use this opportunity to welcome all of our executive members headed by Ambassador Joseph Yimambuaka. Rescue one of the most infatigable and vibrant political institution of our republic. All I want for you is we have come to showcase our talents today because this district, District 14, is a district where the other guys are claiming to be theirs. And for us, and for us, we have come to combat that statement from the hundred head masters of evil conscience. All we need from you is give us your meta focus and only body attention as we proceed through this program. Once again, high table, you are welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Amanda. Uh, okay, so we will call EJ. We are talking for some uh, musical interlude. EJ. Amanda, Amanda, what did you say? Jamie, let me see your two fingers. Let's see, you are dead, you savvy. Black, black, say there, the ten dollar, we will talk it. Joyana Row, I hear you, man. Joyana Row, Joyana Row, Joyana Row, I want to see baby. I want to play go. I want to play million. I want to play go. For country giant. To country road. Listen. The party around line to you. They say Papi can walk. Now he walk in. They say Papi can sing. Now your own can sing. We'll talk a remix. DJ drop it. Our 
Your life will change. Amanda! Amanda! Thank you so much. Uh, so, quickly, we will take a statement of endorsement from tissue number 14 motorcyclist, Emmanuel Smith. Emmanuel Smith, where are you? Amanda! Amanda! Oh! Yo, yo, the rescue tree is here. Yo, yo, Manda. Amanda, Amanda, let's go for the boys and put their hands up. I'm going to go and say, say before you, I'm at 30 hours, there is down, but don't come to the church on my motorcycle or this week 14. Our Honorable Joseph Yuma Baka, incoming President of the Republic of Liberia. Stop, 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 the numerous working, service, integrity, transparency, accountability, the world's government, humanity, and the nation at large. They are both new. So that's it, so that's it. They are both new to fire from the station, the construction of the dairy tree, in the necessary, in in the name of us, the overwhelming endorse the presidential bill as the next president of the Republic of Liberia. We are therefore with a strong convention, we are still not characters and integrity itself in the country and the people. We believe 
I'm not going to rise and be great again. And by now, in so doing, I want to say thank you to have a present this certificate of honor to you on behalf of the Savoy of District 40. And that's what I want. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Amanda! Amanda! Yo! Yo, thank you to the motorcycle. Yo, yo! All right, thank you. Qu quickly, we move to uh, presentation of Mazzarella Senatorial Candidate and District number 14 candidate, which will be done by Senior Vela Kobangalu. Amanda, 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 A A A J M B A, A A A J M B A, whoa, 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 opposition, whoa. You know, before I present the candidates. The past two nights, I have not slept. I have been crying. And I was crying in the car while coming. And I was crying because a friend of mine, who was my classmate in high school, died on October 10, 2020. He was the head of the internal audit agency, Emmanuel Batin Yiswa. And I had a dream two nights ago. And Yiswa said to me, he said to me, look, he said to me, I died on October 10, 2020. And I wanted to vote for JNB. And election will be October 10, 2020. So all you can do for me is to tell all the Liberian people to please vote JNB. That's what the Yusua said, Your Excellency. That's what the Yusua said. I have been asked on behalf of the national campaign team, Senator Abraham Daras Delon and Senator Yombi Kanga Lawrence are out on a quick mission in Grand Bata County. So they have asked us to do this on behalf of the national campaign team. It's one of the most important parts of why we are here, to introduce two distinguished gentlemen. The first man I'm about to introduce it's a man who I worked with. He was the national chairman of the United Party when I was the national vice chairman for Inter-Party Affairs. I know his character. I know his stance. He's a man of enviable character and big credentials. He's a man of high qualitative virtues. He's a man very, very credible. He's a man of visionary perspective. This man has withstood the iceberg of numerous challenges. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Liberia's, especially Montserrado County, next senator, Senator Women JMP. This is your next senator. And while he is standing, it is a pleasure to introduce to you a very young and intelligent man. He's a man who represents the younger generation. And it tells you that JNB himself believes in young people leadership. 
very articulate, unassuming. Ladies and gentlemen, District number 14, Nigeria Representative Emmanuel Barnes. Yeah, All right, you will hear from that accordingly. MC himself do it. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, say. Hey. All right, quickly before we call on them, yeah. we like to recognize a uh, few people on stage here. We have Senator, former Senator Samuel Dazo Johnson. He's hey. a member of the recipe. Hey. Hey. Manda. We also have Madam Selena Porso Mape. She's the chairperson of the Women Congress of the United Party. Yeah. All right. We have Madam Madeline Dagose. She's the SV representative on the executive committee of the United Party. Hey. We have Dr. Augustine Kone. Very important advisor to the standard bearer of the United Party. Hey. We have Erasmus Williams. He's the UP representative in the diaspora. He's here also. All right. We have uh, Mr. Jake Kabakoli. He works in the office of the Standard Bureau of the Unity Party. He's here also on stage. We have Mr. Sir Johnny, he's a senior advisor to the Standard Bar of the Unity Party. So we also have the rescue nurses here. If you have any problem, just go there. If you have any emergency issue, they are there, they will take care of you. We also want to recognize all of those on stage here. We say you are welcome. Let's say a very big thank you to the Fourth Estate, the media. You have been following us, uh, covering all our activities. We say a very big thank you to you. So we move quickly to give Mr. Emmanuel Barnes two minutes. Uh, he's the candidate of the United Party in District Number 14, Mr. Barnes. A very young guy, Mr. Barnes. His Excellency Ambassador Joseph Yuma Boakai. Liberia's next president, Chairman Roman JMP, the next senator who is going to replace the outgoing NTA boss, our protocol observe and sustain. It is a humbling pleasure to be the candidate of the Unity Party here in District Number 14, Monserrado County. For the last 12 years, our district has been known as Distance of Capitol Hill because we elected somebody who is a businessman, so he has been a monument of dormancy. Our candidate has brought relief to the young people of District Number 14, to the mothers and fathers of District Number 14 who want to see their children excel. An individual who still tells you to vote for the future development of the district, yes. having served 12 years, tells you to what extent he has been a colossal failure. Yes. His failure has been so mammoth to the extent that even his own political party has ejected him, and today he is a political square door contesting as an independent candidate. You can be shown. You can be shown that we were giving political bloody nose on October 10th of this year. This political party that is the dusty, uh, very wary boys opposite Luster, having ejected him, they again presented another man who is a tribal bigger and a religious intolerant person. Our district that needs unity cannot settle down for these two detrimental individuals. 
This is why. This is why we must come all out on October 10th. Vote Ambassador Joseph Yuma Boaka and Senator Jeremiah Panku as President and Vice President. Vote Chairman Wilmot JMP as Senator. Vote Comrade Emmanuel K. Barnes the first as Representative of the District Number 14. I am contesting on very four quick points. The very first one, we are contesting on the mantra of replacing district number 14 non existence of Capitol Hill with the representation you need. And that representation is going to come through youth and women empowerment with TV education as our focus. There are many young people referred to as Zocos in our district because they lack opportunity to get skills to make living for themselves. Our representative do not know this because he's a businessman and the only interest of business people is profit maximization. The next point upon which we are contesting our district being a dominant slum district is sanitarily challenged. We have clogged drainages, waterways and alleys are blocked, lack of public latrine. These are common things that affect the people. It only take a commoner like me who understand and experience these things on a day-to-day basis to bring change to you. We are again contesting the third pillars of our agenda is to improve the healthcare system of our district. The only public health facility in our district, the Claritan Clinic, is a prescription center. When you go there, you have ordinary malaria, and they will send you out to go and buy your own amodaku. When you have a good representative with articulated poets, intellectual fortitude, and the political and academic world went on like a do. He will know that when the national budget is being passed, he needs to make representation on behalf of his people so that Operation Fund can go to the health sector and Caritan Clinic Inclusive or A will receive medication to serve you people. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen of District Number 14, we want to be representative to reduce the proliferation of crimes in our district. There need to be respect for the rule of law. We are bringing this change to a youthful, energetic young man. Do not be carried away that a young man cannot bring proper representation. Senator Jeremiah Panku, who is Liberia's next vice president, was elected as representative in 2011 at age 33. We are again bringing change in our thirties. Vote number one, Emmanuel K. Barnes for representative. Vote number seven, Wilmot JMP for senator. Vote number two, Joseph Human Buaka for president. Thank you. Amanda! Amanda! All right, so what is the number for district number 14? One, two, seven. One, two, seven. One, two, seven. One, two, seven. Thank you very much. Let's now invite incoming Senator of Mozzarella County, former Chairman Wilmot P. Thank you. I will not say anything more than what Comrade Barnes has already said because I know that this week we want the next president of the Republic of Liberia to continue to speak to us. You can't wait for your president to speak to you. And so distinguished platform guests and great members of the team that will transform Liberia, all of our women, our young people, all of the security personnel, even those who are standing across the road and listening to us and watching this day. This is all that we have to say to you here in district number 14 and across every community in Monserrado County. I said this to a church this morning. If you are looking for a government headed by individuals like those 
in George we are and his group who will be there to teach you and pretend to be feeling sorry for you the rescue team is not your team if you are looking for a government headed by a man who understands what farmers needs are farmers in Todi farmers in the white plain community all across Montserrado County and throughout the length and breadth of this country that Joseph Yuma Boakai is your choice for president similarly if you are looking for a candidate for senator who is a super crook who will rob you in the night and come to you in the day and pretend to be helping you thank you the light Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's the arrival. We have to go to district number 15. Most other countries turning to Darius Delon just arriving on the scene, as you can see there. Thank you, thank you. I just want to recognize the man. You see his body size, right? Yeah. And you see the size of the light? Yeah. And you see you see how compatible we are, right? Yeah. So Monserrado can tell your redemption is here. Yeah. So you have a great team in the Capitol building on behalf of the people of Monserrado County yeah. to represent you in the Senate. And as I was saying, you don't need a senator who does not know his or her functions? Mm -hmm. Who will loot from our government? Who will be there to be awarded contracts mm -hmm. when he should be holding the executive accountable? Mm -hmm. NTA is broken down. Mm -hmm. The health sector, but the Ministry of Health is being awarding contracts to Senator Sir Joseph. Mm -hmm. Road projects have been awarded to this senator. This is what Joseph Yuma Bokai has promised us. And he has said to us, I will not give a dime to any senator or representative in order for them to do their work. This is the movement that we are witnessing here today. We want a government that will make life easy for them, for the, pe the people of this country. And many of us, the secret that they don't know is many of us grew up in the slum. Yeah. So we understand the problem of the slum, of our people. Today, schools are about to open. School fees are high. The legislature can help the government to make life easy for the citizens. Instead of putting money in their pockets, instead of building, they support a needs. Plenty all across this country, even right here in Monserrado County. If children born in Monserrado County are going to be hungry, imagine what is happening in River G County. If clinics in Monserrado County can't even afford to be supplied paracetamol, imagine what is happening in Vahu in Lofa County. Rescue day! October 10, rescue day! A new government is being born. A Clara Town will change. The community will change. New Crew Town will change. West Point Story will change. Sony will change. The fear in Monrovia will be. Well, I should have been the one to do this, but I can because I'm not fit enough to call on this particular speaker. So at this point in time, I'd like to invite the light of Maserato County. The campaign chairperson of Maserato County, Senator Darius Delon, to introduce the standard bearer of the United Party.
We tell with our people coming to our home to beg, to our offices to beg. That thing can take away your dignity. It can make you not be independent in your talks. The man we are about to introduce is a man whose life story is like depositing in a bank. The main character and his integrity is like deposit, good deposit. And it is what he's cashing on today to redeem this country, to rescue this country. And so without much ado, I present to you JB, the next president of the Republic. JB, the next president of the Republic of Liberia. Thank you, sir. Thank you for taking up the time to come. Thank you, and I'd like for you to have your seat. We also want to thank the nurses. Never had a campaign that I've seen people who have committed themselves to making sure that not only us, but those that are in attendance are looked after. We want to thank all of the nurses for the provision of this care. We have ambulance to just show you the kind of country we want to live in. A country that is caring, a country in which all citizens are regarded as important. Let me tell you that for us within the Unity Party, we're not here to, here to tell you the truth. And I'm happy we have journalists here who can always remind you, this is what you said. So you heard our senatorial candidates, our legislative, uh, the representatives, they're making promises to you. I will remind people that, especially today is Sunday, we're speaking before God himself to make sure that we begin to turn the page to make this country a responsible country. And I am saying this, I am saying this. One of the things that we're gonna do is to make sure within Montserrado, the 17th district, that we begin a program to make sure that these districts are looked into, they are provided for, to make sure that they have uh, the facility there that our people will have drinking water, they will have electricity, they will have their houses connected. This is not, this is not uh, something that is not just, is a right, it's not a privilege. Yeah. And we make sure that these communities are going to be improved. That the quality of life there will be improved. And that's what we're talking about. 
total money that people take and put in their pocket, they are going to be used to improve the lives of our people. The better the when people our lives are improved, they will behave better. They will not go around doing things in the dark. And every community will be provided. I have said a long time. In those communities will be some intelligent agent that makes sure when crime is committed, they know where to find you. Yes. They know where to find you. Yes. It will be right in there. We want a community that is healthy, that the people are responsible, that the people live in dignity. We're tired with people living in squalor, yeah. people living all kind of lives would not represent our people. It's not life is not that meant for few people. Mm -hmm. It's for Liberians. Yes. The money that is been fought for in this country is for Liberians. It's for you. It's for everyone. Yes. We have no right over it. And so we make sure that this community and I'm very serious that when I go around, I look around, I see the mess that people live in. That's not the way that leaders are dignified by making their people live in squalor. We have to improve those conditions. If they are never being improved, they will be improved this time. It means that in legislature, we have to find money to say every district that I represent, that we put money in there to improve the lives of the people. That's what we want to see. We want to see a country in which Jobs are provided for our young people. They are trained. Nobody want to be begging people every time. How many people can go to everybody? But you must be empowered so that you can earn for yourself and live a life that your children will respect you, that your people will respect you, your wife will respect you, your husband will respect you. We don't want beggars who want to empower people. It's been too long in this country. And every time they say, Let's, how long can you wait? After 196 years or 76 years, because they say, I say 196. Yeah. Because that's actually, even if I say 200 years, yeah. how many years do you wait? When, what are you waiting for? It's about time that Liberia moved. That Liberia is respected. That its citizens are respected. Every time our people become refugees, they look down on them. We want to stop that. We build a society in which the people can live. God has given me this life to make sure that that happened before I leave them. So all of you who wish it for me, to, I'm, I'm going to be around to make sure that we provide a society that is healthy, if you are educated, our women are responsible, that we will have buses going around driving people instead of standing in the rain. We have to make sure that life is given for people. Look at all the money that people are getting away with. Who are they? Who gave them that entitlement? I'm not entitled to that. We have to make sure that we live in a society that we we call our own. You cannot say you're a Liberian. You don't have a house, a Liberian, no business for you, a Liberian. Everything must come from other people. It's not going to work. It will be Liberia for Liberians to make sure that their lives are improved. Look at the young people that we have. They got children. Some of them have children. If their lives are not improved, their children's life will be improved. It won't work. It won't work. So today, we are talking about a commitment for a new Liberia, a Liberia in which the Liberians will be proud of themselves. They will earn a livelihood. They will be in school. They will be educated. Now, young children selling in the street, we're not going to allow it to happen. All of them mess everywhere you go here is market. When people find jobs, they're not going to sell. How much money people make out of these markets? 
nothing. So, Liberians, we all should commit. We are called a rescue team, but we are not the only ones. All of us standing there will help to rescue this country. We will rescue this country by the decision you make. The decision you make on October 10. If you want to change, you have to make that decision. Because after that, you throw the responsibility on us. We want to make sure that our resources in this country are going to take care of Liberians for their benefit. And I promise you that. I promise you that. I got nothing else to look for in this world but to make sure that we fulfill that. And I want for these young people to get home. Our elders, I always say, sometimes I hear the youth, the women, but look, a country is like the 10th grade uh, high school. When they say they will close down the high school, the seniors say, we have to graduate. But they forget that the 10th grade, I too want to go to 11th grade, that's so. Yeah. The 11th grade, I want to go to the 12th grade, that's so. Yeah. So not only your graduation, some of the old people here have been working for years, they can't show you anything. Yeah. Not because they were lazy, but there was a, not a society to look after them. It's not a shame for our elderly women to be in the street going around begging. We should provide the means they can get something to live. A society is supposed to look after everybody. And that's the society we want to create. That's the society other people have created. And we're no different from them. We're only different because we don't love our country. We don't care for our people. And that is the topping of it as of October 10. When you vote, you vote right, you will begin to see changes in this country that will be perpetual because after that you are not allowed to come down. And that's the society I want to promise you. So I want to thank you for coming on this day. It's Sunday, but God knows very well the purpose in our heart to transform this society, to make it responsible, to make it responsive. You go to some of these places, no clinic, nothing. When you get sick, what happened to you? Community, all the districts, we want to make sure every clinic here is checked and every clinic here is provided for. There will be competent doctors paid to make sure they look after our people. We finish with the past. As of October 10, we are bound to create a new Liberia for Liberians and people within our communities to know that we are responsible people. We tire with people looking down on us. We tire is a shame. And if other people are not, we are. And we're going to show them that there can be and there will be a better Liberia for all. Thank you. God bless you. The host of Ambassador Joseph Wakai. Today is Spoon TV, Sylvester Chilo Place Money, and we are coming to you live from Zoo Community Junction, just a few feet away from the Cow Patrick uh, in District 14, Maserata County. Amanda! So from here, Amanda! we will be going to District 15. Hello! Hello, District 14! The rescue father and the team, we are about to go to District 15. But before we leave, I want you to know one thing. I you know what we did on December 6, 2020? Yes! On September 17, this month 17, we want to shake this country because we will launch the rescue mission rally in Maserato County. Yay! We want to shake this country mm -hmm. and we want to make sure we will do everything to make sure that Maserato County will give the rescue mission over 600,000 votes. Yay! In order to do that, in order to do that, yes. we will be launching the, the rescue mission on September 17th okay. here in Montserrat County. Yes. 
We want to send a resounding message that it will be first round. We want to send a resounding message that it will be what? One round, what? One round. One round. Thank you, JSF 14. The next time we see you, we want to see Manuel Band as representative of this district. Thank you, God bless you. Thank you so much for coming. I know you Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Somebody, Thank you so much. Everybody, everybody join the rescue tree. Hey, Rick. You. Everybody, look my guy. Come and join the rescue train. The rescue train. Come and join 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 the rescue train. Come and join